So these are pieces of the puzzle of the Coricancha in Cusco. These are blocks that are randomly stuck on a bench that clearly had function at some time in the past. But the ultimate example is this hole in the stone, which, um, which engineer Dan is going to put a flashlight on the backside so that we can look through and get a good idea of what's, what it looks like. Perfect. So with the flashlight shining through, you can see score marks where the tool, high speed rotary or vibrational tool that, uh, that achieved this, caught hard stone as debris and it, the, the hard material was forced to be pushed through as the tool continued its perfectly circular, perfect straight um, hole pattern. And that's why we see those score marks, which I think there are four, but you might see more than I've seen. So amongst all of these interesting blocks that have different channels and grooves and holes and other things in them, the most intriguing one by far is this one. You can see the groove marks that are in it from where the tool caught some kind of hard material and carried it with it. And it does go straight through, seemingly perfectly circular, and about two feet in length but it's broken at both ends. It's broken at the back, here, and it's also broken at the front. So this edge is snapped too, so we don't know how long this tube originally was. So what would this have been used for, this false door. It's not a real door. The only reason there are holes through it is because there are probably blocks missing out of it. It does kind of look like an electrical conduit system would go through it or, or something. It's just Weird. No one has any real explanation as to what this was and what it did. But it's a lot of hard physical and mental work create whatever it is. And inside the Corticancha we have what amounts to almost technical perfection. You can see that that isn't a join, that's the same stone. Starting here, going here, going around the corner. That's, you know, a perfect join. And it's not just on the surface, it goes all the way through more than two feet we can tell here because they broke the wall and the seamless nature of it goes all the way through to the back side.
and even in the interior where they did a join, like here, you can see it's basically perfect all the way down. So what are we looking at here? Is this something to do with solar alignment? Lunar alignment? These are the elongated skulls in the Kodokanji Museum in Cusco. And you can see examples of trepanation. Here's the complete body.